Now, his carvings started in Ghana, and you probably have seen this one, but they took him all around the world. I'm talking about 72-year-old Pa Joe, who started making coffins in 1962, but his coffins are anything but ordinary. Pa Joe has been making fantasy coffins for the last 50 years, a unique craft considered by Ghanaians to be the best way to reflect the life of the deceased. It's a business that thrives on death, but this coffin maker from Ghana makes something quite remarkable out of it. Pajo is regarded as one of Ghana's most famous and prolific coffin makers, even though he's always considered himself an artist who sculpt with wood. The idea is that life transcends death, and so the dead have to be buried in something that represents the job they did while alive. And so coffins could be made into sailing ship for sailors, airplanes for pilots, tanks for soldiers, or fish for fishermen. So these kinds of things, if you go for a funeral and you see it displayed, you might think it is a joke, but it isn't a joke. It isn't a joke at all, because it represents your profession and you must live with the same. Hence the reason it will be used to bury you in. So when you go to the funeral, you might think it is a joke, but the deceased is inside this coffin. His large body of works also include Coca-Cola bottles, chickens, cars, and even a lion. Some may call them fantasy coffins, but Pajo says caskets also have very practical elements to their design. Over the years, his caskets have been bought by U.S. presidents, exhibited in art galleries around the world, and photographed regularly, making Pajo the king of unusual coffins. I don't quite fantasize about my death, but it's got me thinking, I mean, what would you have as your coffin if it's based on uh, your career perhaps? I wonder if it would be a mic, a camera, 